Hello everyone, welcome back to The Gaming Flu and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Remnant 2 is having network connection error or it is lost error or you're getting uh, the connectivity issue on your PC when you're trying to play the game and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one when you're having this issue all you have to do is we just need to do a simple restart on your PC and that's what you have to do. For this we just need to go over here in the start icon click over here go for a simple restart once the restart is done <clears throat> try playing the game once again and see whether the issue is solved or not if that is not working we have to move to the next step next step is nothing but we have to change or cross check time time zone and region has to be correct for this we just need to go over here in the search go for settings click on settings go to time and language Go over here in the date and time, make sure that the time and time zone should be turned on. Right now as you can see it is turned off by default. So in most people end up in turning this off. So that is why they are having the issue. So make sure that you have to turn this on. You have to turn on time and time zone should be turned on. Once you turn on both you have to go back, go back to the language and region. Over here make sure that you are from the correct geography selected. So if you're from United States, you have to select United States. If you're from any other country, you have to select the respective one. Select the respective one and you have to set the uh, region correct. Once you cross check it, you have to move to the next step. Next step is nothing but you have to try with disabling uh, the manual proxy that can be done. It is uh, very simple. So just go over here in the search. Go for uh, settings once again. Now from here, go to network and internet. From here, we have to go to proxy. And over here, if it is turned on, you have to make sure that the proxy has to be turned off. As you can see, the usage proxy server is turned off. You have to make sure this is turned off. If it is turned on, you have to turn this off and that's what you have to do. So it's an important step and a few users from the Reddit did mention when they did this, it worked for them. So you can try this out as well. Next one, we have to run the game on Windows Security. For this reason, we have to go over here in the search. Go for control panel, you have to search for control panel. Now click on system and security. Go for Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here go to allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here we have to keep scrolling down and navigate to Remnant. So you will be able to find the Remnant 2, it is already added. So if it's already added, you have to cross check whether the private and public is selected. So if the private and public is not selected, we have to uh, make few changes that is we have to click on the change setting go for allow another app go for browse now from here go to this pc go to local c and you have to go to program files x86 scroll down and navigate to steam go to steam apps go to common now from here we have to select the game but this particular game which i'm using right now i have think i have installed it on d so i have to go over here in the steam library Go to Steam Apps, go to Common, like I said, it's installed on D. So you have to select the location, so you have to know where it is, because all the games default is installed on C. So I have changed the location, select Remnant, select this one and open it and add it. So if it's already added, you're fine with it. So just make sure it is added. Once you add this, just close this and go back and try launching the game. Next one is nothing but we have to do a network troubleshoot. For this, we just need to go over here in the search. Go over here in the search and go to settings. Now from here, we have to go to system. Let's keep scrolling down and navigate to troubleshoot. Go to other troubleshoots. <clears throat> now from here, you have to check the network troubleshoot. So uh, network and internet is there. So just do a troubleshoot over here. Click on the run and do a simple troubleshoot. Once you're done with the troubleshoot, you'll be able to understand whether you're going through any kind of issues or not. Based on this, you can fix the issue up. Next one, we have to run <clears throat> few commands in the uh, CMD. So I'll be providing commands so you don't have to worry in the description. So let me copy paste the command first. So I have already copy pasted the command. So I'll be giving these commands in the description so you don't have to worry. So first thing, go over here in the search. Go for command prompt. You have to click on run this as administrator. Go for yes. So this is the. So we have these commands. So first one is IP config flush DNS. So copy this command, you have to paste it, press enter. If that is works fine, you have to move to the next one. That is ipconfig release. You have to go for ipconfig release. 
so you have to paste the, this command press enter uh, you have to move to the next one that is nothing but IP config renew so just copy this command you have to go over here so you have to paste it press enter once it's done you have to move to the next one that is net sch windsock reset so copy this command press enter we have to move to the next one that is net c int ip reset so just copy this command as well you have to go over here and paste it press enter next one that is uh, net ch interface ip v4 so just copy this you have to press enter next one that is uh, reset is there so you have to copy this and we have to paste it so we have to paste it once again so copy each command one by one so you don't have to worry just keep copy pasting and you have to paste it on cmd and press enter so right now reset of all tcp parameters are okay so you have to close this and go back and try launching the game this is what you have to do next one is nothing but we have to perform a network reset so uh, while you're doing this keep in mind you have to connect back to the wi-fi once again so it worked for few users i found this on the steam community few users mentioned this so you can try this go over here in the search go for settings over here go to settings now from here go to network and internet now from here we have to go to advanced network reset settings now from here go for network reset there is an option called reset so when you click on this if you're already connected to wi-fi it will be disconnected so you have to uh, connect to the wi-fi with the pa passwords and all those things once again but it worked it for many uses so we can try this out apparently you can also try right now this particular wi-fi is connected so apart from this i can also try with any other available internet connection i can instead of connecting to this i can also try with this one or this one or this one i can try with this because it worked for many users as well so you can try changing with different network and see whether the issue is with your network or not so you can just cross check yourself next one apart from this is all about we need to update the windows go over here in the search go for settings go to the settings over here now from here go to windows update make sure the windows is up to date because it is very important for especially for running the games like remnant and all those things the windows has to be updated so you have to update the windows and if you're getting any check for updates are there just cross check yourself whether you are not delayed a little bit to update it so if any updates are there just update and make sure it is up to date for every day so you have to do in this way right now as you can see it is up to date so it's fine with me so you have to cross check and the last and the least one is all about you can try with verify integrity of game file for this we just need to go over here in the game right click and go to properties now from here go to install it files just click on verify integrity of game file the game is around 17 gb so it's going to take a little bit of time so i'm gonna go for just click on this one and once you click on this one this will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing you will be having these trouble so this will be cross checking every single files and letting you know that if they are going through any kind of issue or not so these are the possible workarounds which can be done when you're having an issue with remnant 2 is having all these kind of issue and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more of these kind of videos see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye